Hi friends, this is the writing lesson for second grade. We are going to work on our spring senses poem. Yesterday, we did some brainstorming using our four of our five senses, our smell, our what we can see, what we can hear, and what we can touch in the spring. So we are going to take that information and we are going to turn it into a nice little springtime poem. So if you were able to print this paper out, you need this in front of you. If you couldn't print it out, no big deal. You can write it. You're going to eventually type it, um, but this is just a little frame of our rough draft. So make sure you put your name on this line that says by. You also are going to choose a title for your poem. I'm just going to call mine Springtime. You can choose the same or you can choose something different if you'd like. And then we are going to use our brainstorm and we are going to write what spring smells like, sounds like, looks like, and feels like. So for my smell, I did fresh cut grass and rain. So I am going to copy that. And if I come up with any adjectives to add in to make my writing stronger, I can add them right now. So fresh cut grass. And then I'm gonna connect them with and and rain. Now you could say rain falling, or you could say something about like what rain smells like, what it smells like after it rains. So you can kind of play around with what it sounds like. You wanna make sure it ends with the period. If you need to go down to the second line, please go ahead. If you want to do this while I do it, you can, or you can just watch the whole video through and then work on yours. My next one is tulips blooming and butterflies. So spring, oops, just kidding. Sounds like over here, birds chirping and wind blowing. So I'm going to add in baby birds chirping because in the spring, there's lots of baby birds that are born and they're waiting for their mamas to get back with that food. So baby birds chirping. And my other one was wind blowing, but in the springtime, a lot of times we have like a, just a little cool breeze. Like I can look outside my window right now and I can see some of the plants just moving around. So. Um, I'm going to change that to a cool breeze. Even though cool is something I can feel, I know what that cool breeze sounds like. Cool breeze blowing. Now I'm gonna go to what I see in the spring. So I see tulips blooming and butterflies. Oh, I didn't put anything to go with butterflies. So maybe I'll come up with something for that. Like tulips blooming. And butterflies. And I'm gonna use the word fluttering. Kind of makes my writing a little bit stronger there. And the last one I want to do what spring feels like. Now, I have two that are pretty similar. I put buds on a branch and petal of a flower. But I know that spring is usually a warm summer day. And I think I want to change one of those since mine are so similar to that. So I'm going to keep buds on a branch because in springtime we have a lot of new buds that are getting ready to bloom. Buds on a branch and that feeling of touching a new bud 
is kind of interesting and different. And a warm, sunny day. Now, just because you write something on your brainstorm doesn't mean you can't change it. That's the whole point. As we go through the writing process, we are trying to make our writing stronger. And again, I don't love my just this rain. So maybe I'm going to add in rain falling. It smells like rain falling. Rain has that definite smell to it. And maybe I might, I want to make sure that I like the way that sounds. So it says, spring smells like fresh cut grass and rain falling. That sounds better. Spring sounds like baby birds chirping in a cool and a cool breeze blowing. Spring looks like tulips blooming and butterflies fluttering. I like that. And spring feels like buds on a branch in a warm, sunny day. Oh, I love it. All right. Once you are done with your poem, writing your rough draft, you are going to um, log on to Zoom and read it to me. You need to have two for each one. So you're going to have a total of eight different things that spring reminds you of. So two smells, two sounds, two things you, um, of the, what it looks like, and two things of what it feels like. Okay. Um, that is it for this lesson and I will see you on Zoom shortly.